Hey, hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. We are finishing up the thrift haul from Thursday. I'm going to show you how I do some color blocking to get ideas for these items for my booth. I have clips of finding some amazing things, and then we are going to do some flips. I will show you before and after pictures. If you are new, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. Let's hop into it. Got a bunk pan. Make sure you are looking up when you're thrifting. I did see this after walking by it probably a couple times. It was $3.50 and I don't always do red, but 4th of July is coming up. So this is going to go in my booth with my 4th of July display and I do my bunk pans for $10.95. For some reason, I had a bit of a pitcher problem this time. It's like black writing on a blue cup. Okay, so it's Gibson. And I know I've heard these names before from people like uh, Crazy Lamp Lady and whatnot. I forgot I got the matching uh, Gibson, I guess it, maybe it's a cream and sugar. It was $3 as well. I'll do this one for $5.95 as well. I love color. I do a ton of color in my booth, so I do a lot of color blocking. Next week, expect to see beautiful blues, whites, and rich woods. This one's really nice too. It's all black um, stoneware Japan. Half off it was a dollar at the Goodwill. No chips, no cracks. And I'm going to go ahead and list this one on my website because I think I would have a few viewers who would love to snag this up. I'm going to do $4.95 and it will be listed on my site. Right when I walked into God's storehouse, I was smacked in the face with a shelf full of copper, stainless, brass, Got a few items off that shelf. Boom, 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 right when I walked in. This was one of them. It's a set of uh, tarnished salt and pepper shakers. They were $2 each. I paid $4 for the set, and I will have them on my website at $12.95. I would probably not use this for food, but it was going to look super sweet in a vignette. And if you want to, you could paint those up and uh, wet distress, bring back the details. It would be gorgeous. This is a gravy boat, syrup boat, but it was $1.50. I found quite a few uh, white pictures, so I'm gonna set it aside. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. Next up is this set of three adorable metal vintage bowls, and look at that pattern on them. So sweet. I like to say I'm not into this like grand millennial flowery thing, but I guess I kinda am. They were half off, $1 for that one. A dollar twenty-five for that one, and a dollar fifty for that one. So I paid around. So I paid around three seventy-five. I'm gonna sell the set for fourteen ninety-five on my website. Next up is this little brown teapot, no lid, unfortunately, and a couple little chippies on it. It has a twenty-five cent garage sale uh, tape on it. I paid a dollar half price at the Goodwill, and it does say Occupied Japan. And even though it doesn't have a lid, I thought it would look adorable with some floral coming out. This nice deep brown will look great in a cottagecore vignette with some pretty flowers coming out the top. Perfect. I'm going to sell it for $4.95 on my site. I overpaid for this teapot. It's okay. It's cute. $4.00. It looks like it was at the Goodwill a long time ago for $3.25, but it does have a lid and it's got cute little notch in it that'll, that will lock the lid in place. So this is functioning and I don't see any chippies. I'm going to list this one on my website because I know I've got some yellow lovers for $8.95. Milk glass bowl. This one is very translucent, so I knew it was milk glass and it is a $2.50. I don't sell a lot of milk glass, but it does move slowly but surely, and it always looks pretty with a pop of yellow or a pop of green, uh, floral, yellow lemons. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It will be $8.95 in my booth. Next up is that sweet blue color again. This is a set of matching heart bowls, and they do have the initials NM 1993. So they were handmade with love. I'm going to go ahead and put this one, um, this, this set in my booth as is, and I'll probably do this set for $10.95. I paid a 550 
I found all kinds of little croc-like items. A lot of them were overpriced. I think the thrift stores are starting to know a little more of what they have with the crocs. Um, but these were $1.50 each at Goodwill. Don't love the color. I have a lot of brown and stuff going on in my house right now, so I won't keep these. I'll probably go ahead and actually paint them up since they were so inexpensive. They do have Made in Japan stickers on them, but these are a dime. Oh, no, Made in Taiwan. Oh, potpourri. Oh, they were potpourri holders. See? Nothing too special. I'll paint them up cute. Probably aviary or something. I'll sell them for oh, around $4.95 or $6.95 in my booth. Go cute. Tiny little white pitcher was 50 cents at God's Storehouse. And I love tiny things. I don't, I don't know if I want to do a white pitcher collection or not. I kept a couple and I might do a white pitcher collection in my guest room. So I'll keep you guys posted, but I paid 50 cents for this little cutie. Up we have a giant apothecary jar. This guy, bigger than my head. $5. I have a set of vintage pool balls that I want to put in this one and I will mark this jar for sale at $14.95. So this is the picture that started the whole picture problem yesterday. This one is Ironstone China. $5 at God's Storehouse. It's got some gorgeous crazing and I've got one currently in my bathroom. I think this one would look good with. So I think I'm going to hold on to this one, especially at that $5 price point. Next up, this one was also Goodwill, $5, and it does have some tape where it was holding the lid. I can hate that they do that, but at least the lid wasn't lost. And I thought it was ceramic, but it's not, it's metal. It's like a heavy cast iron, and it still has a filter in it. And on my website um, with the black little pitcher, and this one's going to be $13.95. I paid $5. I don't know what it was about the black and white enamel this day, but I found a lot of it. First set was this, or the first piece was this teapot. It does have some rust and stuff on it. It was $5, so a little pricey, but I knew the enamel was going to be good, and I know the black and white farmhouse is still super popular in my area. $5 on the teapot, and I will sell it for $12.95. Here's another little piece of black and white enamel clean on the inside, no markings on the bottom. This one was $2.50 and it looks like it has children playing leapfrog on it, but for some reason they are failing miserably and like falling on their heads. I remember landing on my feet when I played leapfrog. What about you? So I thought this was not only adorable, but also very funny and I'm going to sell it for $8.95. I'm thinking these are cups, drinking drinking glasses maybe, faces, I don't know. This little faux window does have a metal frame in it and it was $8. I'm gonna make it instantly better. Oh my gosh, there's so much dust. Instantly better. I could sell this alone for around $25 and I think I'm gonna do a really fun paint job on this frame too. First project, DIY paint and milk paint is going to transform this into some beautiful chippy decor. You can find all of the products and this thrift haul at upcycledbybree.com. First up, I have three DIY colors, layered chocolate, aviary, and apothecary. I poured a little out and let them dry for about two hours. As you can see on my plate, they are nice and thick. Next up, I grabbed a couple of palette knives of different sizes. Using these palette knives, I'm going to spread this nice thick paint haphazardly all over the arch. Hit that thumbs up if you love texture. DIY paint is super thick and clay based, so when you let it dry out a bit like this, it dries out just like clay wood and makes great texture. I let this dry overnight so the paint would cure up. I did not top coat it. We are going to go straight on to milk paint. 
I have a few videos about mixing your milk paint. I will link one of those right here above for you so you can find out more. Today I am using Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in the color Flower Sack. And again, I will write the description and link all of these products down for you below. I let the arch dry again overnight and this is what I came back to the next morning. Look at that beautiful chippy paint. Success! I have 220 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander and I'm going to go over the entire piece one time. And now you can see why I used different colors and lots of texture below the milk paint. It's bringing it back, making this window look like it's been painted many colors over the years. What do you think? Are you liking this look? Leave me a comment below. I'm using Sweet Pickens Beeswax in clear to seal up this piece. It's super easy to apply. I'm using a brush and I will wipe off any excess. Oh, hello. This angel was $4.99, but half off, so $2.50. And I couldn't resist its little crazy booty. Not gonna lie. Just put it in my booth as is, because I don't feel like shipping this arm, and he will be $8 or $9.95. Yellow ceramics, especially mustard yellow, are still super popular around here. $4 for this pot. It's pretty big, and it's got a nice finialed lid. Tell me in the comments below, would you paint this or would you leave it as is? It was $4 and I would sell it for around, oh, $9.95. I think I'll put this one up on my site and see how the yellow does. $9.95 on my site. Got a pair of candlesticks here. They're metal. Uh, pink stickers, so $1.25 and $1. Paid $2.25 for the set. One for around $10.95. This is like a little replica cast iron finial but it's actually, I think resin or something. It's got an okay paint job, but I'll probably paint it up to look a little bit better. It was $1.50 and it's just a good little piece of decor set on the top of a stack of books, up on your mantle, something like that. This would be a good one for Father's Day. I also tried to find a couple of manly things since we have Father's Day coming up. I'm going to paint this finial in the classic combo of DIY weathered wood and white wax. You can find both of those in the DIY paint and products collection on my website, upcycledbybree.com. This one made me laugh. I am just... So thankful for all the different ways to eat potatoes. It's very true. This was a handmade done sign, a $2.99 metal um, Hobby Lobby tin sign. They sold it for $1.50 at God's Storehouse and I took the bait. I'll hang that up in my booth as is three or four ninety five. dollars This a rusty red R caught my attention, 50 cents. I usually do pick up letter stuff, not always. If it's like a W or a Z, sometimes I leave them behind. But the letters sell, y'all, and I loved the rusty patina on this one. This will be available on my website for $3.95. Little candle pillar holder. It's made to look stone, but it's not. It's, you know, some kind of resiny material, too. Made in the Philippines. It's a pink sticker, so this cost me $2. I will paint it up and sell it for $8.95. I grabbed this bag of apples. They were $3.50. Two, four, six, eight, ten for a dozen apples. They look semi-realistic. Recently, Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab has been painting them up to look like stone or cement. So that's what's going to happen with these. And then they'll get staged up in a pretty basket. I'll be using the baking soda method on these. I've got some tarnished pearl and I ended up adding a little bit of letterpress gray to make a deeper gray color. Uh, about two tablespoons of baking soda. Whatever your preference is, I mixed it up and I'm going to do two coats of paint on these apples. I 
You can see here the DIY paint dries quite lighter, which is why I added a little more letterpress gray. Now, I chose to tape off half of these apples for a high-end look, I'm going to spray paint the bottom of them three gold and three silver using some Rust-Oleum spray paint. I did two thin coats of each color. I did let it dry overnight to make sure it cured as well. Now the satisfying part of removing that tape. I got a little overspray on the top, but I didn't care because I knew I was going to cover the rest of this apple with that same paint combo of the letterpress gray, tarnished pearl, and the baking soda. Time to paint the other half of these apples. Using a steady hand and a little patience, they came out great. Once all the apples had two coats of paint, I let them dry for a few hours I did have a fan on them as well that way when I go to put the wax on it does not pull the paint back off I've got a chip brush and DIY white wax I'm going to just haphazardly apply it over these apples creating that stone effect I absolutely love the way these came out I have the set of three listed on my website I have a single apple at $2.95 on my site, and then the set of silver is $12.95 as well. Of course, this would be a super easy thing to replicate at home. Leave me a comment below. What do you think of these apples? Do you like them, or are they a little too modern for you? Half of this box is full of some amazing metal items. So first up, just a basic tray, uh, the Creative Co-op, $2, cute little galvanized tray. Might try to rest this up, might not, but this will look great with some mason jars sitting on it, full of floral. Eh, $4.95. This caught my eye more for the shape than the color, although the bottom almost looks like brass. I don't, I don't think it is. So this guy's going to get a paint job, and then I'll distress those details back through. I'm just going to go regular old white on these. I may try to leave the feet. Um, all metal. It was $3.50 and I will sell it for $12.95 on my site. This was a very easy makeover. Two coats of White Swan Wet Distress and seal it with clear wax. I found a few pieces of brass. This I believe was an ashtray. I'm not sure. Gatco Solid Brass, it was $3, but it's nice and clean inside. I thought this would be cute, another Father's Day gift idea, loose change, you know what I mean? Um, it would also look great in a little boho vignette, so lots of options. I am going to list this for $12.95. I'm going to do some brass on my website and see how it goes. Brass fan was $2.50, again, $12.95 on my site. Anytime I find these metal decorative accent pieces, I pick them up. These were $3 each, so a good price for them. They are black, they're a matching pair, and they do have um, some screw holes in them. But I probably will paint them up um, a good vintage green color and distress back some of that amazing detail. I painted these in the color Apothecary and Wet Distressed back the details. They also got a coat of clear wax to seal them. I love to use these pieces above doorways, but I have them both listed on my site. They are $12.95 each. Cute little metal tray. It has a wood bottom. This was a Hobby Lobby piece. No original price, but I paid $2.50. It's got a nice little metal rim and sell it for around $12.95. I grabbed a couple of these trivets a while back. Um, these, this set is not as nice and you can tell it's like plated or whatever because it's scratching off. But for 50 cents each, they weren't marked, so she sold them to me for a dollar. 50 cents each, I grabbed them because I figured they could always be painted too and just provide a nice accent piece. All right, my three favorite metal pieces are coming up. I told y'all when I walked in the front door, I got smacked in the face with the shelf full of metal. Well, hanging off of that shelf were two fabulous copper pots. Do y'all sing when you get excited? They're not matching at all because they've got different handles, but I don't care. $12 for the big one. 
and it's way bigger than my head. <laughs> Eight dollars for the small one, and it's about the size of my head. So these are staying in my stash. I will be decorating with them. I'll do a quick little video sometime soon of um, a little update of my cottage living room with all of my new copper pieces. And you know my rule, a couple pieces in, a couple pieces out. So I do have a couple copper of pieces I will be listing. Last thing in this box, we've got copper and I don't know, brass handles. This was $5 made in Turkey. I'm going to list this one on my site for $12.95. Good shape and it's easy to get the mirror off so I can just take the mirror off to paint it too, which will be nice. It was $8 and I will sell this in my booth for probably around $29.95. I find these wood accordion wine racks. I grab them because they are amazing for displaying rolling pins. This one was $3.99. I will leave it as is. I will sell it in my booth for $19.95. And until it sells, it will hold my rolling pins. I thought these were pretty amazing. They've got some adorable little tarnished brass tops and a gorgeous curved wooden base with almost like a little tray at the bottom of each of them. So one is just a little bit bigger than the other. I wonder if there was a third one, but I couldn't find it. So I did buy the set of two, 350 and 250. Originally $20 and $16. Um, I'm going to leave them as is and see if they sell. I know this dark wood is becoming more popular with the cottage style. And I'm going to list these on my site, the set for $19.95. I paid too much for this tote. <laughs> it was $2.50. It's got the kind of little manufactured distressing, which I'll honestly probably leave since I paid so much for it already. I don't hate it though. Some good distressing. And then I'm sure I've got three cute little plants that'll pop right inside there. I'll sell this for around $12.95 with the plants in my booth. Let's knock out a few baskets. Y'all know I have a basket problem every single time, but you'd be proud of me. I think I put like four back at checkout. This one is unique. It's open in the top and the bottom, $3.99. I like these um, for say a bathroom countertop. You could set it down on top of an ugly beauty product, say a bottle of lotion, and then cover up that ugly item. And then you've got a cute little wicker jar instead, or it could sit, um, you could put a base full of water, put it over the top and have a single stem coming out. So lots of options on this one. I paid up a little, it was $4. And on my website for, Pretty cool, $9.95. Another basket, this one was 50 cents and I got it to use on a wall. This is a shelf and it was a little bit heavy, which is why I picked it up in the first place because it looked solid. It was pink tag, $4.99. I found so many pink tags. So I paid $2.50. This middle, middle section is metal and it kind of wraps around and um, hammers onto the back there. So I want to do something fun. And depending, I'll probably sell it from like 12 to 14.95 in my booth because it's heavy. Another case of just remove the floral and it's already better. I loved this little basket. I paid up a little. It's four dollars. Sell it for around 10.95, 12.95 with some new greenery in it. Let's look at a couple critters real quick. Y'all know I've got a thing for the little porcelain animals. So first off, let's talk about this amazing cat that has had enough of your crap. <laughs> this one was $2. It does have a little chip, I thought, yeah, in the front of its foot down here, but I don't mind a little bit of chips. It's got some crazing in it as well. Uh, it does have, it is stamped Japan on the bottom. $2, I will sell him for $8.95. Next up were pigs. Pigs sell well here in Kansas. And I woof, look at the little baby's ears and his little pink nose. And although I love their pink noses, I think they're gonna get a paint job. Make them look faux stone. Maybe I'll give them some petticoat pink noses. 
Once it's painted, he'll probably be like $4.95. They say when you find something once, you keep finding it. I found another hippo. This one's interesting, right? So it's got the little container on the top and it's got a hole in the bottom. It was $2.50, it's a uh, clay terracotta. Not sure. He's gonna go on my site for $12.95. If you need a house hippo, he can be yours. $12.95 on my site. Spring, Easter coming to an end, but this little bunny was sleeping on the shelf. He had to come home with me. $2.99 at Goodwill. I didn't see any chips or cracks. I do believe it's a little bit older, but there's no markings, so I'm not for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him and I'll save him until next year to display. He was too sweet to too sweet to pass up. I'll know what wood prices are like right now. This is a nice chunk of wood for five dollars. I will sand it down, give it a drink of hemp oil, and it will be for sale. I started by washing this board with Dawn dish soap and water to get the grease and oil off, and then I let it dry overnight. Then I sanded 60 grit. 120 grit and finally 220 grit sandpaper down in my garage with my orbital sander. Using Sweet Pickens hemp oil, I am going to give this entire board a nice coat and then I will wipe off any excess with a clean rag. Look how beautiful it turned out. Here you can see it staged up in another example of color blocking this is a cute little chest i did over the weekend as well it's actually available on my site for 229 which includes the shipping or locally for 89 dollars on my second pass up towards the register it was six dollars the um friends or welcome or whatever we'll we'll have to go i'll probably paint this up with some nice chippy milk paint and this would be great in your bathroom with some towels rolled up and displayed in it. Um, you could put it in your living room for some books. The possibilities are endless. I'll sell it for $16.95 or so, paint it up. All right, my second favorite find of the day. Always look high and low. Great things are found high and low because everybody else is looking at eye level. This was on the top shelf um, by the baskets. It is in great condition, a little rattan, um, rattan side table slash plant stand, $6. Little tiny bit of unweaving here, but nothing that I can't fix. A little bit of unweaving here, but I'll fix that and it will be good to go. So I'm going to sell this one in my booth. I'm going to stage it up with the boho furniture and it'll probably be around $19.95, $24.95. And my favorite find of the day was my $1 chair. Yes, that's right. $1 for this chair and I have to keep it. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all though how cool is it. Now, remember I promised you guys I was going to show you some more stamping. This wasn't part of the thrift haul, but my friend Jen Dunn did send me some amazing dictionary pages. Melissa Morrow sent me some stamps and I just knew they'd be perfect together. You can find these stamps over on Melissa's website. I will link it down in the description box below. This is the Monarch Collection and we are going to make some beautiful prints on top of these vintage dictionary pages. Now before you use your stamps for the first time you do need to season them and all that is is lightly scuffing them with a piece of 220 grit sandpaper that's going to help your medium stick to the stamp whether you're using ink or paint. I played around with a couple layouts before I committed. I'm going to use IOD ink today in the color black. Now remember stamping is still fairly new to me. I do like my IOD brayer. You'll see me roll the ink out here and then I will roll the ink onto the stamp using my brayer. I am using the Prima mounting block and this makes application so easy. That is also over on Melissa's site down in the description below. And use the grid lines on the mounting block to make sure you're centered and then use even pressure and press down. This first one came out a little bit juicy, which means I had a little bit too much ink, but don't worry, I get even better as we go. Y'all, I am officially obsessed. 
I made some prints with the dragonflies and the bees as well. Here they are. What do you all think? Leave me a comment below. Again, if you want to grab these stamps, head over to Melissa's site. If you want these prints already made, I have some available in my thrift haul collection. They are beautiful. If y'all like this thrift haul, thrift flip combo video, leave me a big thumbs up. That'll let me know and I'll bring you another one very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, set that notification bell to all, and most importantly, share this video with a friend who you think may love it as well. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. They are great for displaying items in your booth. Oh, seal still works. Oh, this is bad. Oh my gosh, there's so much dust. So much dust. But I will sand it down, give it a nice, oh, I just hit myself in the chest. Goodness, <clears throat> knocked the wind out of myself. But y'all know what wood prices are like